By the way, I'm gonna be giving away some tester spots to some subscribers, and uh, the more views this video gets, the more tester spots I'll be able to give away. So just leave a like and subscribe if you want to win that giveaway. Oh, and join the Discord link in the description. We wanted to buff the base, but then everyone would just go full brain dirt as the base would be stronger than everything else. Are you gonna give passives to everything? No. For their mode? Yeah. Yeah, because they they probably won't get five moves. They'll probably have two mo they'll probably have two moves in base and then three in What about like their mini mode thing? Mini mode is just gonna be more passives. <laughs> it's passives on passives, bro. You're not gonna add like an ability like the cybernetics or something? Uh maybe. Probably though, because their their base would be like kind of trash with only two moves. Wait, yeah. two? Yeah, and mode you did three. Well, full bringers don't have that many moves. Like most of them. Chad is literally just fucking punch. That's all he does. Yeah, you're gonna have to use a lot of custom stuff for full bringers. Yeah. Because exactly. literally there's not many. Well, Gene Joe's like the only fucking one. So who were you uh, considering as a ability? For the video game one, right now I have written down Kratos, but I don't really think he fucking fits at all. But I don't know. If we find a video game character that works for full bringers, then... But Kratos kind of. We would want full bringers to have something cool. So it might just be uh, Kratos. That does sound pretty cool. Okay. Now, about the release date. You said it was releasing in like... What, September 21st. Days, like seven days, right? For testers? For tester, yeah, for tester, yeah. And then it's gonna last like a few weeks? Yeah. <clears throat> are you gonna keep the price 2k or are you gonna like keep it up while testing is going on? No. Tester will be off selling like a week right before it drops, probably. Because uh, testers are getting an exclusive item. It's probably gonna be like Wreath of Victory or something actually decent that looks cool. The thing that you get for like top 100 in ranked, the fucking crown. So for the popularity contest thing, do you think that's a good idea with the titles? I don't really know. We're gonna still make it skill based. So like whoever the most voted people are, are gonna have to do like a tournament or something for the, like to actually get it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like that content creator, like a fucking Nana wanted to join and be like, everyone vote me. Then they would vote. Exactly. Him. That was my so, issue. but at the same time, I don't want to just like appoint people. Tournaments would be too hard to do because how many players were expecting on release tournaments wouldn't really work either. Because tournaments can only be like 20 people. So I don't really know, but no matter what, we're going to make it still based. So if someone just wins purely off votes and he's dodged it at the game, he's not keeping his spot. There's people that only sit in clan wars and don't touch ranked. Like a lot of like yeah, the but actual that, dead that players. Would give them a, a reason. Yeah, that's true. I don't and know. Especially since, um, you know, Type Soul PvP is ass. If you make it better, yeah. then I'm sure they'll want to play ranked more. I don't know how we're doing that completely yet, but it's definitely not going to be, like, all in votes. Someone can't be fucking keen to wait, though, just because they're popular in the day. Well, we're talking about PvP, so I'm just going to talk about the rest of the PvP stuff, which is, like, are you going to mm -hmm. change the combat? The base combat, no. The only thing that's in consideration is parrying. Because a lot of people hate Type Souls parry. What do you mean? That would be that? the only thing. thing. I don't know. A lot of people <laughs> fucking hate it, though. A lot of people hate it. That's like our, like one of the number one requested things. But I feel like it's not really something that you can change. Because then you have to change the whole combat system. Yeah, because then it's not Type Souls. I meant, what I yeah, meant exactly. was not like, um, not changing like the, the overall combat, like the base combat, mm -hmm. I meant like the skill trees. Skill trees, the only one that's in consideration is really hot. Yeah. It, it might get a yeah, rework, so. but it wouldn't be on release. It'd be later on. Okay, what about keto spammers? I don't fucking know what to do with it. I'm about to just remove it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want it in the game, but it's such a core part of Bleach to where it has to be in the game. So I, I don't know. I mean, maybe that will get reworked too, eventually. Because the way it works is just dodge it. But I have no idea. You could always just completely like change the, the skill tree yeah, later on. Yeah, exactly. Because Hakata, I feel like I feel like ground Hakata would make more sense than a Dragon Ball Z fight. Mm -hmm. I, I've never understood that. I feel like if you made Keto, um, where you had, to play, you had to play it close, then it would be yeah. fun. Are you going to add anything for the existing races? The existing ones? Yeah. Um, other than Vassal Lord coming to the game, probably not on release. Maybe eventually. 
because um, everything I kind of want to get another sub mode for. I want a Ron Purse to have Vassal Lord and Vassal Tar. And then I want Quincy's to have Quincy Tar. So then it kind of leaves uh, Soul Reapers kind of just sitting there being like dumb. Uh -huh. So maybe something to buff, like just a new mode for everything. That makes so. sense. But I don't know what Soul Reapers would be. Like Quincy Tar is an easy addition and the Vassal Lord's already almost done. But for Soul Reapers, I don't know. Oh, Game Passes. Like, what's the Game Pass? Probably the same, but everything will be like half off, just cheaper. Right. Like, way cheaper. Like, custom clothing will probably only be like 200 instead of, what, what is it in type? So, like, 800? Yeah. I don't even know if we want custom clothing, though, because they're planning on changing it to 3D clothing. I thought it was. So I don't know. I don't know. Well, it might be. announcements that you can choose. Well, if it's both, then yeah, we'll just have custom clothing for like 200, 250. Because. 800 fucking crazy, in my opinion. And then extra slots won't be 400 or whatever, and they'll be like 200. Oh, they're 400? And... I thought they were 150. Pretty sure. Maybe they lowered the price, but last I checked, they were like 450, 400. Maybe something for dungeons. Once when we add dungeons, there might be like a dungeon luck multiplier thing. Alright, so how about the progression? Is progression? It's just, an, it's just gonna be fully changed. Honestly, the other races aren't that bad, but Soul Reaper? I'm getting rid of those fucking uh, division I missions, bro. So much. It, it's so dog shit. So division missions will just be fully done. Like I don't, I don't really care. They'll just be done, and everything will kind of have the same progression. So your partial or whatever, you'll have to fight a boss for all of them, and then same for your ultimate mode because there's no real reason why it shouldn't be like that. Um, but as far as normal leveling up progression. We are gonna change quests slightly because right now it's literally just kill hollows, kill hollows, kill hollows. Um, but I don't know what exactly yet, but it will be different and it should be easier but funner at the same time. But yeah, as far as far as what missions will be in there, I don't completely know right now, but it won't just be kill hollows on repeat until you're max level. You could always um, like get quests, like put quests yeah. NPCs or something. And those give the XP for like killing bosses. Well, we're done that. We're gonna have quests. Like true Bontai will be a quest. Other right. stuff will be a quest. Um, but we don't know exactly how much. And you're gonna update two to three times a week. That's kind of crazy. Can you hold that? A bid update will be once a week. Like an actual like bid massive update, but probably throughout the week we'll randomly throw in like more items, a new sheet die. So you're just gonna throw in stuff as you make it. Either way, there will be new content like in the game all the time. But probably big updates. Okay. Are you gonna keep the ultra skills and stuff? And maybe they are kind of cool. And without them, it would be kind of lame to play like Clan Wars or anything like that. But if we do, we would make more of them, and we wouldn't make them as strong because right now they're just completely fucking brain dead. But yeah, we would just have we would either have more or just have one per build. Like there, there would just it would just be like Serum W. We would make our own Tendo one. And then that would be all that there is, and then eventually we would release like new ones. But I don't really know because they are cool, but they're completely brain dead and natural type soul, so they would definitely be nerfed. And for the obtainment, is it like the um, the same from Clan Wars and? Whatever? It will be, but after update one, we're gonna have well, update one will be dungeons, and that will be like our main method of end game because you know nobody wants to do Clan Wars for fucking 14 hours for one weapon. So we're gonna make dungeons where basically the farther you go, the higher chance you have of getting those type of rewards. Okay. And is there gonna be more end game added eventually after that? Yeah. Dungeons will be the first thing. Raids, like the actual raids thing will be revamped. So you actually like get good stuff from them. So there's a reason to be in like AD and stuff. Uh, but after that, yeah, we will still add more. Like eventually we might add um like a hair color chooser npc where you just spend a bunch of yen like eye color chooser things like that right it does i but that's one of the other things that i just don't know why they're not a thing so it's going to be very free to play friendly is what you're saying yeah pretty much uh, well our end goal is just to fucking be better than type soul so <laughs> say it's <laughs> gonna be all right what about afk world that'll just remain the same we're not really gonna try to do anything crazy with it the new stuff will be added in there um Okay. We might buff the Solian Street thing. Oh, so yeah, people yeah. actually have a reason to yeah, fight it. I noticed that. Because that didn't do right anything. now they don't do shit. Like there's no like literally it is AFK zone, so it makes sense that everyone's AFK. 
uh, but we still want people to play the game. So we might just buff Solian Street to the point where it like goes up infinitely. Obviously, we would have to put up a cap, but like we want people to actually play the game and not just sit there AFK. Yeah, exactly. Like Type Soul, <laughs> right now, like I would say 5k of their players are all just fucking sitting there collecting shit. I and 99% of those players are using those items that they get to black market. Like that shit's brain dead. More players for you. Yeah, um, but I think it'd be cool if you had to upgrade like yourself with money. Like, um, you know how the true variants you get them with 10 Hogyokus. I feel like that's kind of maybe you could do that and then upgrade it to actual like true as you go in stages. It would require a lot of fucking money. Yeah. Yeah, a would. lot of money, but, but that, that's, that's it, more of a it would grind be a thing. As a that is grind. true. If maybe their luck is like just ass. Maybe, maybe you have to pay them to attempt your bug. Yeah, maybe. Out. And you said, um, how many like abilities are you uh, going to add per week? I could get to say. I would say to probably expect like one or two universals because i don't think we're gonna work on really like base weapons a lot because we're gonna make universals easier to get and that's kind of like what we want people to use because obviously universals are gonna be cooler than like a base arontar weapon so you'll probably see way more of those you'll probably see like two of those a week and then as far as actual modes probably just one per race it could be more um, almost like all their shit ends up being like not bleach related yeah. and just kind of stuff that we think is cool. Um, but yeah, I don't completely know. I would say at least the very bare bottom two weapons, like two universals, and then four total modes, one per race. But it could be more than that, it kind of just depends. Yeah, that's pretty good. I would say I would say after the first two updates, this is the first two updates is gonna be dungeons and helpers. After that, it will probably increase. But for the first like you two said updates and, and helpers is second update. Dungeons is first update. Helpers is second update. So do you? Is it like gonna be the same helpers? It's the same thing. I don't know if it's their new one because they hired somebody. Like they hired a whole new team. Oh. But we have their old one. But we might just end up commissioning someone at the same time. I I don't completely know yet. But either either way, we have like their old one, which looks fine. It kind of just matters on the content in it. We are gonna get our own bosses. Hellverse boss raids in hell. They might be their own separate thing. I don't know if, if they'll be in hell. They'll just extend to boss raids. Okay. So you know how types will have boss raids. Yeah. Where they fight fucking like head caps and all that. We'll probably just add those hell characters how you were saying. Because we want actual helpers to be like NPC mobs, bosses. Like yeah. deep ocean style ones, not. But yeah, bosses, so like open world bosses, like how they currently have Bawa and all that. I don't know, because they're kind of fucking, like they're useless right now. Yeah, they are pretty useless. Nobody, nobody fights them. Um, you could, you could give them a use in like a, a special quest or like maybe progression quest. Yeah. Something like that. Oh, I, I just, feel like right now they're, they're literally... It's only no, they're, they're just you yeah, only fight Baba. Exactly. You only fight Baba. Um, the other ones might be for something. We'll probably maybe, just include them in like the key to hell or something. You could always change it to where like each race has to fight the boss in their... So, yeah, if we do a <laughs> bid 3 one, then we would probably just rework Zongetsu. Yeah. In that update, oh, instead you can of just make like another, you can make another Zangetsu. But the current Zangetsu's not good. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said just make another because yeah. he has he has that one and he has his yeah, true, it's true. True Bankai with the yeah. horn, the horn of salvation. Oh, you could also make that by the way as a mode. Horn of salvation will probably that power on cards are going to Vassal Lord. Yeah. And then the Quincy and Quincy Char um, story person will probably get horn of salvation. I forgot that was. <clears> it <throat> might be an alternate mode. Like, you might get Z Visored first, and then you replace Visored for Horn of Salvation. That's kind of... Yeah, that's probably what we'll end up doing. Is yeah. like, you get Visored first, and then once when you meet the reps for Horn of Salvation, or we make it a quest or whatever, then you get Horn of Salvation instead of Visored.